Hello, basketball fans. Great matchup for you tonight between the Penn State Nittany Lions and the Maryland Terrapins. Number 21 is one of the players we anticipate will be getting a lot of minutes tonight. This guy can be you in so many ways on offense. He can really stroke the J, and he also moves well without the ball. That makes him an offensive nightmare for a defender. The Terrapins will undoubtedly feed off his play in this contest. The Terrapins should be looking at a tough fight tonight, Dick. What have they got to do to win this thing? They've got to stick to their game plan and focus on these keys. Number one, control the tempo of the game. I look for the point guard to be the floor general out there. Second, win the battle on the glass. That's going to be huge tonight. Well, that stat at the end could be a big one. And finally, be aggressive defensively and force the offense out of its rhythm. Well, Dick, let's get this one started and see what happens. The point guard with the ball. Inside, the center takes the pass. Nice drop step. I'll tell you, he does a great job with his footwork to create the drop step. Both teams looking to get things going here. On the dribble, gives it up. The small forward gets the ball. He's got a nice shot fake. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. He gets the bucket. Show the replay on that. goes out of play. He'll regroup the offense. For the bucket, it sticks. And the ball goes out of bounds. And Dick, look at this sellout crowd, and they are loving it. Oh, they're ecstatic, baby. They're ecstatic. Great team play. The post flashes up high if he wants it. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. As one of the better players on the team's roster, he's expected to make big plays, isn't he, Dick? Hey, they do, Brad. That was another great play by that young man. He has that sense, that basketball sense, which a lot of players are missing. Fed the low block in the paint. He does the sweet fake shot. And he'll kick it back outside. There they come with a double team to stop it. Trying to draw some contact. He puts it in with contact and all. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. And Nick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating him to the spot. That was a high post screen. Goes to the lane. Here's the offensive drop step on the low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. Takes the pass in the paint. Trying to draw the foul. Gave it up. The point guard takes the feed. They work it around the perimeter. Inside. Got to take some flight on the defensive end. The center gets the pass. Out of the low post defensively. Great anticipation in the steal. You can see they did a great job studying in film. They anticipated that ball coming to that post. Shows patience waiting for the reset. They 
strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. Another turnover created by Great D, Brad. On the dribble, gives it up. He pump fakes. From the top of the circle. Oh, yes. The ball goes out of bounds. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Goes up for two. He's going to see this guy to sleep tonight, Dick. He's already living a nightmare, Brad. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. He shoots from right of the circle. trifecta for the Knights. Aaron Andrews on the sideline. Dick Vitale. I'm Brad Nestle. Nice to have you along with us. <laughs> Trying to pack it inside. Kelly is pretty fired up and excited. Well, you know, Brad, these student athletes play with fire and emotion. You rarely see that in the pros. Dick, he's in a serious rhythm. Hey, that's because he's getting the ball in rhythm, Brad. Very important. On the outside, on the elbow, they feed down to the low block. From the top of the key, off target. Pushing that basketball. He keeps the dribble as they reset. Up and inside. Very soft defensively. No pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. The frustration right there. Gave it up. Looking for a good shot. On the dribble, gives it up. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> nice move with a face up. I'll tell you one thing, Brown. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. Off the mark. Stolen away. Nobody getting back, Brown. Where's the defense? There was no doubt about that one. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. He's going nowhere. Ball going stolen. Nowhere. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. Work it around the perimeter. Gave it up. They move it into the front court. He fouled him. Ooh. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, it's a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Had a momentary look from three-point land. He drains the shot. So we get another look. College basketball is special to me for that reason right there, Dick. Listen to that roar. It's unbelievable. He shoots from the angle. Off the rim and no good. Ball was loose, but the offense got it back. 
Looking to move it around the perimeter. Now they work it around the perimeter. Let's watch the defense down in the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays him where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. The good rebound position, the good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of the post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. This defender is resilient. Still applying pressure. Turns it over. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Look at that spacing. Lucas in the post. Lucas makes a great move to draw the foul. Those are the types of plays you want a lot of. These kids are on a roll. Look at them celebrating with one another. I'd celebrate too, partner. They are playing some great basketball at the moment. Penn is one of the premier schools in the Ivy League. Numerous league championships. Hey, it usually comes down to them and Princeton. However, Penn was a dominant force for most of the 70s. Penn State have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. Great anticipation defensively. And back they come the other way. For the bucket. Up and in. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you gotta get help because you gotta see ball man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. Picks off the pass. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Jumps into the defender, drops the bucket despite the harm. job defensively they just won't give many openings pressure in the basketball the ball goes out of play let's go courtside what do you got for us Aaron Brad and Dick there's a sense of urgency down here at the bench the coaching staff is stressing it's time to start playing their game Brad I think it's time for their star player to start leading his team out here the pressure that basketball help one another communicate stolen for two, makes the shot. Tempo to game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. Up and inside. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. A guy in the post, but elected to reverse the ball. On the dribble, gives it up. Gave it up. He attempts the trifecta. Scorches the net. Working it around the perimeter. And they get the turnover. They run it up into transition. Oh, what a high rise, a great vision. The fans love it. What a terrific play. There's a double team waiting there. Another turnover. And we're not talking out the turnovers either. And the fans are going wild. Hey, pandemonium is in full effect. And the ball goes out of play. Oh, 
Wide open for the shot. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Isolated on the outside, they work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. High post flashes for the ball handler. He launches the bomb, drains the shot. He missed the guy in the post and goes the other way. Got the shot if he wants it. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. Goes up for two. They still don't score. Picks off the lazy pass. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing them to make that turn. They've left them completely alone. Great defensive play, anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. On the outside. Get that sucker out of the game, man. Kelly draws the personal. Maryland are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together. Hey, they're really starting to put that offense. Hey, Brad, you want to get to the line early and often. You end up getting your opponents into foul trouble, and it's also an opportunity to get some points. Ball was tipped loose, but the offense retained and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Has a nice look at the basket. They'll work it around the arc. He looks for three. Nice shot. The student body has got it going on. They look to be filled with rage and eager for a win. They look like they're having a blast. And the ball goes out of bounds. away the pass that's one of the things I absolutely love about college basketball Dick the atmosphere the Rutgers fans are going nuts they're going bananas Brad high post flashes in the paint. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. That's it. Don't answer. Looking for a good shot. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Great block shot. Man, I'm afraid to hear this crowd. If they can get a stop on this possession. Intercepted. Look at that spacing. For the bucket, perfectly executed. That helps got to come quicker. Hey, very slow on a double team, Brad. And momentary look from three-point land on the dribble gives it up. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Maryland are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they've put it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. They work it around the perimeter. 
Way out on top, controlling the ball. Oh, what a strip, Red. Here's a double team. Dick, when I see those types of things, I just get chills. I'll tell you, Brad, those schools with the best home records probably have incredible school pride. They don't go with the six man for no reason. The ball goes out of bounds. it back out. Ten seconds to put it up. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block. I tell you, three-quarter position trying to deny, but then he does a great job of post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. in. Basket falls despite the contact. For two. I tell you, terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. Working it around the perimeter. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. On the outside, he fires away. The Terrapins have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Now they work it around the perimeter. Gave it up. He lets it go. He shows the sweet touch. With the fake. Gets the ball and now faces his man down to the low block. Well, a very aggressive player once he got up in the face up position in the post. Strong rebound. Good rebound position. Then have got to get out and fill the lanes, Brad. Had a momentary look from three point land. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, really, a part of the offensive plan is to teach your post players to utilize that up and under move. And he does it exceptionally well. Steals a pass. Tries for two. They are red hot right now. They're feeling it from everybody on the floor, Brad. They're getting it from every spot on the court. Let's see if they go two for one here, Brad. Got some room. They work it around the perimeter. Kicks it out. He shoots from the baseline. They can't stop this guy, Dick. Want to give him a try, Brad? If only my knees weren't aching. Entry pass in the paint. There's the trap. There he is, strips the ball loose. And he'll kick it back outside. Isolated on the outside, they work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper, way off target. Defense giving some room. He shoots from long range. You betcha. At halftime, the Terrapins are down by four. It's been a tight battle so far, Dick. Do you have a highlight of the half in your book? Well, the trifecta like we see here was and will be a part of the story in this game. We'll have to keep an eye on which team gets it going from out there in the second half. It's time to get back to the court, Dick, and see how this second half plays out. Maryland collected very few rebounds out there, Mr. Vitale. Is it a lack of aggression, you think? Hey, if they're lacking aggression, that would mean they had some to begin with. I saw no aggressiveness towards rebounding in the first half. 
Second half, Dick, our focus player update, and what's he got to focus on, or what do his teammates have to focus on? Well, I think they got to get him the ball right away and have him attack the basket. I think he's got to be able to become much more aggressive on the offensive side. Maryland is one of many schools in the very tough Atlantic Coast Conference. Historically, they've had some pretty good seasons. Hey, they've always been solid. Good coaching has meant solid ACC showings year after year. Then, of course, they had the national championship in 2002. With a deep shot from outside, goes. Look at these fans. They're loving it. The mail is off the truck. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. The pressure's getting to him, Brad. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Dumps it in. And he'll kick it back outside. Looking for a good shot. Fakes the jumper. Got the high pick. Up and inside. Ten on the shot clock. And he scores despite the hack. The Nittany Lions are ahead by five. The Terrapins have a mismatch in the post. Let's see if they can get him the ball. On the dribble, gives it up. And one too many dribbles and a steal. There's a steal. On the outside. Double team now, bad angle. Good fake. The shot from the baseline. Off the rim and no good. He unloads. Penn State is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. He goes for three. He gets the bucket to fall. Picked out of the air. Length of the floor for the bucket. He gets another shot off and in. Hey, this show's about to start, Brad. The student section is all rallied up, and they are ready to battle. They want to win just as bad as anyone else in the building. Jumped in front to take it away. Up it inside. Gave it up. Now they'll bring it up. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, as you know, points in the paint is a stat that coaches will readily look at, comparing their team's dominance in this category with opposition. Establishing that inside presence is an important facet of consistent success. Aaron's right about that. I'll tell you one thing, she's essentially right. Down in the post is where you create a lot of offensive action. Launches the three, drains it. There's a double team waiting there. He strips him clean. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up. He makes the block. Maryland are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. That 
That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. It's stolen. On the dribble, gives it up for two. There was no doubt about that one. They work it around the perimeter. Gave it up. He fires from long range. That was nice. That's one of the best parts of college basketball, the student section. They're fired up and they're ready to try to help their team. The student body looks like they're ready to terrorize the opposition. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. He tries a jump hook. I'll tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep close position, and the jump hook is so effective. He blocks the shot. That's awesome, baby, with a capital A. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork, really excellent on a post play. I tell you, waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. Number 35 with the foul. Second personal foul. Dick, how's that backcourt comparison shaping up, do you think? Hey, Brad, that's a question that these coaches should be asking themselves. How can they, as coaches, get the most out of their guards? Are they quick enough to pressure the opponent, or offensively, can they create off the dribble? To me, it's about finding the weaknesses and attacking them. Drips in clean. Now they run the other way. There's a slam. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on a box. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Looking for the foul. He puts it in with contact and all. Great effort right there, trying to play that passing lane. Anticipated really well. On the dribble, gives it up. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Gave it up. There they come with a double team to stop it. Taken away. Terry look from three-point land. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Dick, it's really been a while since I've seen a team shoot like this. Hey, every once in a while, you'll get a squad that gets on a tear and simply makes your jaw drop. It's fun to watch, isn't it, Brad? A little bit of a collision there, but no foul. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the blocked shot. Well, 
Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us. Aaron? Brad and Dick, there is a sense of concern on the bench right now. The coaching staff fears if the other players don't get involved soon, it may be too late. He keeps stressing to his team, I can't do this by myself, so help me out. We'll have to continue to monitor this one, guys, along the way. I did a home fans are going crazy. There's jubilation. High post flashes for the opportunity. He tries the three ball. Ten on the shot clock. Penn State are on a run right here as of late, Nick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. We'll get back to the action here after the timeout. Picks off the pass. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Picked off. On the dribble, gives it up. Reverses the ball after having a guy in the post. They work it around the perimeter. He intercepts it. Maryland is one of many schools in the very tough Atlantic Coast Conference. Historically, they've had some pretty good seasons. Hey, they've always been solid. Good coaching has meant solid ACC showings year after year. Then, of course, they had the national championship in 2002. Tries for two. Perfectly executed. Dick, he's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Picks off the lazy pass. Fast break possibility coming. He hammers it home. You can almost see that coming. They were a little bit lazy on a defensive end. Mr. Excitement with that jam. Working it around the perimeter. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. This is what you're supposed to do down low is go up strong. I tell you, that was great post play. Clinic 101 and how to explode to the goal. Intercepted. Pushes it. Too physical. Points off turnovers, Dick, a stat I know coaches pay a lot of attention to. Hey, Brad, it sure is. You want to limit your opponent's number of points off turnovers. Ultimately, you want to nullify the easy basket. Nice fake. A whistle and a foul. The coach not happy in the sideline. This crowd is unbelievable tonight. Oh, they're emotional. They're packed. They're jammed. You can't find an empty seat. Fake. With the jump hook, way off target. Moving it around the perimeter. Tries a three. Goes in. Let's check out this replay, Brad. from the post and goes the other way. Looking for contact. Easy one. Let's get a replay, baby. Jumped in front to take it away. On the outside. Here's a double team. 
He dials long distance. Gets it to fall. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle. Was locking on the box. Controlling the ball. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Fakes it. For the bucket. I tell you, terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle, Dick. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. On the outside. For two. That is a dagger in the heart, that shot, Dick. Hey, they lost focus here. They need a timeout to regroup, Brad. Takes away the pass. Goes up for two. They are heating up this building where they're shooting right now, Dick. The hits just keep coming, baby. Steals a pass. Stay with him defensively. Down he goes. Oh, what an acting job. There's no doubt in my mind he's flopping, baby. And the ball goes out of play. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. Isn't that what makes college so special? The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. Ball goes out of bounds. He's got the post flashing if he wants it. From right at the circle, off the rim and no good. Up, easy one. They work it around the perimeter. Dickey really seems to be getting great position down there in the low block. Yeah, he really is gaining position because he gets the good angle, and they also have the good entry from the wing. Jumped in front to take it away. Here's a flash from the high post. Pull up jumper from way out. That's good. Gave it up. I think they're trying to make a statement. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. High post player flashing. Takes away the pass. Ziegler handles the feed. On the dribble, gives it up. Number 50 with the fake. He tries a jump hook. I'll tell you, great job protecting the basketball, getting deep close position, and the jump hook is so effective. They work it around the perimeter. Got a nice screen. He tries the jumper. Penn State are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they to keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important, get 15 to 17 feet apart. He takes the three. He's money with a shot. The fake. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. And he'll kick it back outside. For the bucket. Yes! Well, Mr. Vital, it looks like we're in for a great finish here. You've got to love these close ones, Brad. Every error is magnified and could be the difference between a win or a loss.
Up fake. He goes with a jump hook. I tell you, waste any time. He got the ball in the right position, and then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking a shot when you make that turn. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Way out on top. Controlling the ball. Drops the bucket despite the harm. It looks as though the students are all wound up and ready to agitate the opposition. You can't forget about them. The witty humor and dedication to their teams. You can't find this in any other team sport. Working it around the perimeter. Picked out of the air. The power forward with the ball. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. He shoots from outside, way off target. Maryland are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. Shots there if he wants it. The ball goes out of bounds. What a play. These kids are fired up now. And if you're going to celebrate, why not celebrate with a teammate? Hey, Brad, the kids are fired up and having a lot of fun. He's got the man in the high post if he can get it there. Now they work it around the perimeter. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. There's the trap. Stolen. Pressure in the basketball. On the outside. Gave it up. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. Time to pick up the defense here now. Cross court. Double team now, bad angle. Looking for a good shot. Shot clock runs down. It almost certainly did. All you kids out there should pay attention. This is how you deny the ball on defense. Strokes it off the rim and no good. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. And we get a look here at our foul and timeout situation. Hey, Brad, many games are lost because coaches fail to manage the clock. Possession air timeout situation. Let's see how these coaches fare tonight. There's a look at the timeout situation. Hey, some people like to call it game management, Brad. Knowing when to use timeouts is an art. Also, team fouls. Defending without fouling is always important. The bonus situation. Makes the shot. Second one is no good. Tries for two. Basket falls despite the contact. We're ready to get back to the action. The lead is up to eight. They could be starting to pull away here, Dick. Takes it off him. 
They work it around the perimeter. Great defense. Dump it inside. The small forward takes the pass. Ooh, look at the shot block. We got some contact. Nice hops. In and out. Maryland loses in a well-fought match. After a loss like this, you have to question their ranking. It's been a fun game, and as always, my partners alongside have enjoyed you being with us. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler. Good night, everybody.